The windstorm started at around 7 o'clock in the evening and lasted for two hours. It caused substantial damages to homesteads, buildings and mahangu plantations in most parts of the Okaku and Ondangwa rural constituencies. While roofs of several houses and shabins were blown away, big trees were uprooted, damaging structures in the vicinity. At Oshuga village, it caused severe damage to Thomas Ilwenya's homestead by damaging the roofs, leaving residents homeless. It also damaged one of his newly constructed buildings that were supposed to house a workshop. Lovisa Ilwenya was home at the time and narrates the event. The wind started blowing strongly and it started raining. The corrugated iron sheetings on the roof started shaking terribly. It was very scary. At Olungalunga village in the Ondangwa rural constituency, Lusa Erastus homestead and many others were also damaged. Those who were home at the time told NBC News that they were in the sitting room when the roof of the six-bedroom structure was blown away. Luckily for them, the wall did not collapse on top of them. They escaped in the rain to go and hide at the neighbor's house where they spent the rest of the night. Most of their national documents and many other important documents were damaged in the windstorm. Most residents said they have never before experienced strong winds of this magnitude. Reporting for NBC News, Pandora Nepembe at Okaku in the Oceana region.